uh, our audience out there uh how did you get born again and what were the circumstances that led to your salvations uh briefly thank you so much i want to appreciate the lord for such a privilege to be able to actually share my salvation experience with everybody that is listening to us this evening i was born into a christian home and right from the, the, you know the date of birth the day of birth i've been taken to church and i grew up within the sound of the bell of the church but going to church is one thing for one to have a personal encounter with the lord is another thing and uh, throughout my you know when i was even throughout my secondary school age despite the fact that uh, you know i took part in a lot of activities in the church i did actually did not know the lord we were just uh, playing religion because our father, you know, my parents are taking me to church. And also I was going to church. But after I left uh, secondary school, precisely two years after I left secondary school, it, you know, there I was waiting for admission. But b b by then I was, you know, work, also doing some part-time work to just uh, while waiting for admission. And, you know, as a, a youth day, uh, in, you know, a teenager, I've been exposed to a lot of... Uh, you know, faces of youth, you know, boyfriends and girlfriends stuff. And uh, that, you know, it got to a point that even I stopped going to church. Sundays used to be because Sunday's parents will not be home. So, so Sundays used to be time that we will bring in the guests uh, to the house. But just like, you know, the fact that we be hearing the gospel, there was no certain decision with the law. But that Sunday, by the grace of God, Yes, it was August 1991. That's great. So that Sunday, we didn't go to church, you know, with the plan that, uh, you know, want to sneak in, sneak in the guests, you know, uh, while, you know, the house is free. But uh, as a teenager, then I was just about 18 years old. Then that Sunday, you know, the guy had already come, but as the girl, well, you know, came inside the house, as she was sitting down beside me, you know, it was just like another presence came in. It was so real, though it was not visible, but I felt the presence came in. And, the, you know, the, and the, you know, the voice was speaking to me. He said, son, is this the way you want to be living your life? He said, you will be hearing the message of salvation. If you, are, if, you give your, if you give your heart to me, I could forgive you. I could save you. I could transform your, your life. Just like that, you know, it was so clear. It was so, you know, real. Even much more than the girl that was sitting beside me. And, you know... I didn't know what to say, but what I just discovered is that I, will, I was already shedding tears. And the only prayer I could breathe that day is that, Lord, if it could save me, I will serve you the rest of my life. And thank God that was the end of sin because, you know, immediately, you know, the gay stuff ended. And that began the journey, my, my journey with the Lord. Oh, 